With the office location secured, things seem to be coming together for the conference. However, unexpected changes were on the horizon. We were in a really good spot when Jim walked out, but we had to figure out where do we go from there. North Dakota with three goals. And the, son of the, and the Mavericks are on the board. The Broncos coming in. The Miami Red Hawks. St. Cloud State University. Colorado College is off and running here tonight. In Denver National Champions. Who's going to beat these guys? With the start of the inaugural season months away, there was an urgency to fill the top leadership role. One of the things we realized really quickly with Josh Fenton was he probably picked up everything with the league faster than everybody. With the finances, with the bylaws, with the back of house support, uh, with what we were doing in both in Colorado Springs and the Twin Cities, what we were doing with television contracts. And while he was relatively young at the time, and he was an associate AD at Miami of Ohio, um, I think we realize that he is smart, hardworking, ambitious, and if we really wanted to make this league go, he was the right guy. I think it's important to remember that I was a part of the conference formation from kind of day one. And so I was involved in pretty much every administrative meeting that the group of athletic directors had in forming the conference. This is well in advance of, of Jim being hired. And so I think my knowledge and background of, of the conference and how it came together and who the member institutions were and had developed uh, kind of a rapport and relationships with the athletic directors, the coaches, helped me once it got to that point. Ultimately, it proved to be the right decision. Fenton would serve as the second commissioner, continuing the rise of the NCHC. Very historic night right here in Oxford, Ohio, the first ever NCHC game. With teams competing for the regular season championship, the winners would forever be tied to the history of college hockey. Well, it was important for the league to name the championship trophy after Julian Spencer Penrose. Uh, it's entirely possible that modern college hockey wouldn't be what it is today without the Penrose family. And, you know, they, they were so instrumental in the first 10 NCAA championships at Broadmoor World Arena. So doing the introductory event in the Penrose House, understanding the Penrose's involvement in college hockey from the start, it just seemed natural. The first Penrose Cup came down to the final night between St. Cloud State and North Dakota, with the Huskies ultimately prevailing. And given that we weren't one of the initial six, I think it, it was a little bit, to be honest, of an exclamation point to say, look, you made the right decision. Here we are, um, we belong with this group and we can compete. Uh, and we showed you that through, throughout the season. It's so tough to win in our league. And you know, everybody seems to get measured on winning national championships. Like, you know, you haven't done anything until you won a national championship. You know, it's true to some regard, but it's not true in the fact that like, if you go through the NCHC, uh, 24 game schedules with the rigors and the competition and you come out on top you've done a lot of really good things the madness didn't stop there as every march the conference heads to the state of hockey to crown its tournament champion we were looking at the twin cities and for those schools that moved to the nchc from the wcha we'd been used to going to the xl center for the wcha final five uh, it was the best championship in college hockey. Massive crowds, incredible energy, and big gates. And so we were hoping we could replicate that with the NCHC. Uh, we believed, at least in starting uh, for the league, in helping us build our brand initially, that Target Center was the right spot for us. They committed a lot um, in terms of getting the building ready for hockey. Um, from the financial standpoint, bringing in the city of, of Minneapolis to support it. There was some games that we played at the Target Center back in the day. So there was some familiarity with that building. And, you know, again, it was like, oh, that's a basketball building. But, you know, um, you know, being in downtown Minneapolis, I think it was a great spot, right? And I think your fans expect, you know, it was an event, right? And uh, so now that we, you know, we went through that, I think uh, it got better and better. We went to the tournament um, just trying to play our best hockey and we, we were fortunate enough to win that tournament and it was like, it was, we celebrated pretty hard, especially out on the ice like on that game just because we know we got an automatic bid and it, it meant something special in the sense that we were the first team to win that. 
the NCHC needed to showcase itself to a national audience and help build its brand. This is one of the things that we also worked on before the conference was fully announced and you know before we got to our first season was a national television partnership. And it was really about visibility, national exposure, storytelling, helping to establish and build brand. I think one maybe underestimated factor is the uh, people who have been calling the games. Right away you get on national TV and the guys calling them are veteran college hockey guys that everyone in college hockey knows. Everyone knows Dave Starman, everyone knows Ben Holden. And I thought those guys played a pretty key role in you know, legitimizing the league within uh, the college hockey community. Dave Starman, Ben Holden, Shereen Sasky, all of our crew, great to have you with us. You flip on the TV and you hear Ben and Dave calling a game right away, uh, it feels like a big game. When it came to the NCHC, what you did was you combined the best conference in college hockey with, I think, the best national televised product in college hockey. So you got a nice little combination there. We came in with a lot of veteran experience. We came in with, with a brand. We came in with an idea. We came in with a philosophy. And our idea was to sell the programs. I think that's what sets us apart from other networks is our goal is to work in concert with the programs, in partnership with the programs, so that we are selling them. That sales pitch worked perfectly as the league would continue to enhance the student-athlete and fan experience.